Aloha friends, good morning. Oh my goodness, I just woke up like five minutes ago. So, this is my best self. Anyways, um, it snowed last night. Um, kids have a early shift. So I will be taking them to school because I have hubby's truck and then Jonathan's car is not reliable in the snow. Danielle's car probably is, but she doesn't really, she hasn't been driving because she's, um, she goes up north to, to college. So I'll just drive because I'll, when she, I'm, I'm awake. Well, I wasn't really awake. I woke up, but I'll, I'll go because like my last vlog i told you guys <laughs> do everything for a kid but i'd rather just drive myself and take them because it's just within the city it's not far at all it's not an inconvenience um and then i want to fill my skincare i didn't get a chance to fill my skincare when i did all my like six videos with you guys but this is what it, it looks like in the morning very soft and um, glowy and it's just hydrated and I've been doing this routine since the first week of December because it's been so cold and I love it and I also put like eye cream eye serum because friends I'm reaching my 50 so my skin needs extra help <laughs> but I love it I really it's it's so um, refreshing to wake up in the morning to have your face just fully hydrated so I want to share that video with you guys and it's nothing special nothing expensive it's all you can buy it at Walmart buy it Target buy it Trader Joe's kind of thing okay nothing pricey because you know this girl doesn't do pricey I just have to film myself oh careful buddy okay so this it's dry snow so I was just telling Danielle that I think they could have just driven because it's only not even two miles how where you guys work yeah not that far yeah but it's jonathan's car that has no traction i was telling danielle that jonathan's car is like um those kids power wheels you know those rainbow like those barbie power wheels like <laughs> it has no tra he has a little bitty car so his car was only meant for uh for him to go back and forth to school and he works local anyways but and you never know, because remember we were filming yesterday when it was snowing super hard over here at our area. Once we went on the freeway, there was like, it was sunny. It was like a different city or a different state. There was no snow. All right, we're a little bit early. We're just warming up the core. My kids are quiet because they're not, they don't talk much in the morning. Coffee needs to kick in friends so this is what it looks like i just dropped off the kids danielle could have driven it with her car because she has a honda civic it's a bit of a stronger <laughs> stronger car better wheels but uh jonathan no i mean jonathan's car is just a little a little putt putt batmobile but um i'm gonna pick up jonathan later on and then bring danica so she can play in the snow a little bit and then also um take her to the library so she can get her library books okay for the winter break but yeah isn't that pretty winter wonderland wait hold on i'm back friends and i am editing before i shower for the day but go ahead danielle i mean <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm sorry go ahead danica <laughs> i have um, so many kids um so we're watching the cooking video uh, cookie show the decorating cookies like sugar cookies um, like a gingerbread man? Mm-hmm. And yeah. she said... She smells so good. Um, Go ahead. Um, I saw this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Talk to our friends, not up at the TV. Um, Make on, it quick because it's on, going... On YouTube? Yes. Um, Mom. So, go ahead. Um, they had um, a lot of bread. Like, What like, kind of cake is it, though? First tell them about the cake. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a doll cake. Mm -hmm. It's like um, a lot of bread. Mm -hmm. Then you put your dough in, and then you make the cake. Yeah, should we do that? Yeah, and when you cut it mm -hmm. and eat it, it tastes really good. And it's like your doll had a, like, a tutu on. Oh, like a Cinderella doll cake? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, we should do that one it's day. Like that. Okay, I need to be a good uh, baker though. I'm not a good baker. <laughs> I can show you how I learn. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay, okay, friends. I gotta edit. I got lots of videos to edit. Bye. Make sure to subscribe. Picked up Jonathan. Got Danica. Put her into onesie because it's just so much easier to keep her warm. I told her to come and um, see the snow. Where's Danny? Oh, I thought she. Danny's always hiding away from the camera. But we have our library basket, library books, and we're protecting it with a blanket. Danny's wearing my jacket. Okay, be careful. Oh, you know what? It's not slippery, but still be careful. Okay. Oh, you guys go first. Yeah. You can go out there, Danica, in the grass. A little bit of snow. And then when we uh, pick up Rumi, which is Ati Danielle, um, you can come with us and we can go for a walk with Dad. Go ahead and go. All right. We're going to the library. No makeup for me. Brush teeth, though. Editing. But, um... We're gonna go to the library. Oh, I saw Danny. <laughs> yes, love. Yes, my love. Got our basket. She picks out her books, and then I get a couple. So she picks up five, and then I'll get five. Um, things that she can really read on her own. Yep. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, really? From a book? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah? Okay, I am a sucker for baking books or cookbooks that um, authors are actual bakers or chefs. So it says nostalgic recipes from a little neighborhood bakery. And I'm in. I want to, I glance through it. I don't really make the recipes, but I like glancing through it to see if I can buy it and then add it to my collection. Oh my gosh, look. Look, Danny. I told Danny that she looks like Emily in Paris to me. But look, I got a book. Can you check this one out too? Yeah, sure. All right. We just drop off Danny to her boyfriend's house. There's nobody behind me, but Look at all those snow covered. It's like a winter wonderland. It is like a winter wonderland. Look at this one. I like those uh, on the roof. But friends, I just dropped off Danny and it's still pretty early, it's 11. So I told Danny, I go, I'm gonna walk into the, the front door with you because I wanna meet the mom. But really I didn't want to because my but, um, but I need to make sure that there's an adult supervision. Um, she's a freshman now, but still. Um, so both of his parents work from home, she said. And Danny's very responsible. And he, he seems like a responsible kid. He has not given me any reason to think otherwise. It's very nice. Um, and then so I said, okay. I go, I need you to take a picture of the mom or the dad of the back to make sure that I know because I know what Jaren looks like from the back and I will know what an adult looks like from the back <laughs> you know what I mean You're like but uh and then I said tell your boyfriend to come out here because a gentleman meets his lady friend outside open the door he didn't have to open the door but I also said hey Jaren I go, good morning. I don't know if I said good morning, but I said, oh, is your parents home? And then he's like, yeah, they're both in a meeting because they work from home. I said, okay, have fun. Good kids. But I told my number one rule with the girls, even with Danielle, and I didn't care if she was in high school, friends. I don't even care if she's in college. I still say the same thing, okay? Um, I said, <clears throat> in high school when she was dating, I do not want you to know what your boyfriend's bedroom looks like because you're not allowed to go up into the second floor, okay? Unless they're family, like uh, family room. Because sometimes, you know, like family rooms are upstairs, like the uh, recreation room. Okay, that did not sound, <laughs> not recreation. 
Um, but um, you know, you know, like living space. But the girls are the girls are not allowed to go into the boys' bedroom. I know, like Americanized, like in American culture, <laughs> there's like young girls that go to the you know their boyfriend's bedrooms. You know, some parents have the door open, some parents don't care. But me, no, no, no going into the boys' rooms. Um, if you're gonna go into your boyfriend's house, I don't care if you're a freshman or a senior in high school. Parent has to be home. Safety first. Okay, it's so fun to see that Starbucks no longer has a shortage of cups because, friends, during COVID there was so many shortage. Okay, I heard that this is a popular cup, but I got that. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I don't have this one, and I don't think I need it. Oh, holiday. I have that one? Oh. Danica would know. I have too many cups, and then I have the green ones. Oh, those are pretty. All right, I'm just looking, because I don't need any more. All right, we're ready. Okay, okay. Huh? The snowman? Yeah. Oh, okay. I love this sugar cookie flavor with almond milk. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay. Uh, I did say donuts, so we're going to go to uh, Henry's Donuts, which is a popular donut place. So this donut place is open 24 hours. Oh, let's go see the car first, bud. Can we see the car? So there's this car that's around the neighborhood or where we live. Um, Jonathan calls it the Ghostbuster car. If you have not watched watch it. Look, well, I won't show the plates, but look at that. Look at his car. So cool. <laughs> there's elves on it. Yeah. We call it the Ghostbuster car. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Okay, maybe you will want some. Maybe, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Oh. What's the filling in this one? Chocolate? Raspberry. Oh, raspberry. Oh, okay. We're not quite ready. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Donut. You, do you want a donut or no? Yeah. Okay. But you have to eat the whole thing, not just the frosting. Oh, they decorated. Okay, hubby's gonna get that maple with bacon. But, um, which one are you gonna get? That one or that Are you gonna eat the whole donut? Maybe. What'd you say? Maybe. Yeah, she just eats the frosting. What about you, bud? What are you gonna get? regular maple okay mm, I, think I think I'm gonna get the coconut one I, think I like the old-fashioned uh, sprinkles uh -huh, with oh, Danica. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. ah. all right friends so all I did I seasoned that part with the uh, Lola's recipe is going to be just the Montreal steak seasoning and then I have salt and pepper and then um, some garlic powder. So I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to do the other side. Uh -huh. Yeah. Apparently we left hubby and hubby was looking for at least Danica. So there's garlic powder. There's um, Montreal. Not too much because then it becomes salty, but enough. What? I didn't salt the other side. Just salt. And pepper. Simple, and then I like to brown it, and then I can put it into the crock pot. Okay, friends, so. It's already ready. I just cooked it for a good five minutes on each side. And then I'm going to put it into the crock pot. I already called Lola. Lola is my mom. 
um, she cooks like the old fashioned way of like no recipe. So every time I kind of got to check with her. So I thought it also cooks with um, cream of mushroom, but she said no. So one can of chicken broth um, with the Montreal steak seasoning. Once it's done after three hours into the crock pot, then the liquid of the one into the crock pot, saute it with mushrooms, and then you turn that into the gravy. That's what she said. But I forgot, I forgot the fresh mushrooms, so I have cream of mushrooms, so I'm gonna wing it towards the end. It's in the crock pot. I have my can of chicken broth. And then that's it. Nola said that is it, no water. Just that cover, cook for four hours or three, she said. This one's a small one, so I would say about two, two to three. I am editing today, so no makeup for me today. Just my, my two self. We're gonna have donuts. Jonathan's nice and relaxed. Um, finals is over, isn't it? It's such a great feeling when yeah. finals is over. Oh, I remember that feeling. Mm, loved it. We Relax. need to film this. Okay, we just picked up Danielle and Danny. I, uh, I, I missed it, Danielle. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, you I have just to say it again. <laughs> Dad I only heard again? the giggling. Oh, yes. Said, Do you know how I know my relationship yeah. is real? It's because I, um, my boyfriend sent me a picture of him um, carving our initials into a cactus in Mexico. In Mexico. <laughs> Antonio um, left for Mexico about two days ago. Look. Yeah, let me see. Oh my goodness. Did he, did he put, put a heart around oh, it? Yeah. Oh my Aww. gosh. Yep, there and it then, is. Oh. And, and then his relatives put it, it carved our names, but put Tono and Danielle. Oh. That's, his, that's, his see his the that's what see, they call him. I that's guess. what they call him on a big. Oh wow, that's a big cactus. Can you see? I see that. Oh my goodness. Can I see that? Aww. I guess you could say because cactuses survive a long time, yeah. I guess. Cactuses live forever. They nurture you from the inside by providing you water when you're desperate time of need. <laughs> <laughs> Lame is that what Danielle said. Okay. But you gotta be careful though because if you hug a cactus you might get hurt. Yes. Whoa, it's got thorns. <laughs> oh my goodness well, like yesterday we were sitting there when we were waiting right danny was waiting for the thing and then danny's like so where are you going and i was just wandering around i was like anywhere nowhere everywhere all at the same time i was like, like the uh, movie. yeah i was like i'm not going anywhere i'm just wandering around everywhere nowhere during the volleyball tournament yeah when i was waiting mm. for them to wrap and i'm like yeah. i'm just i'm just i'm just here i'm just here wandering around don't want to sit, don't want to walk, don't want to watch. No. Don't want to sit in the car, just wandering. Up, oh, we got snow, friends. More snow. snowing all day, Danny. Yeah, just a little bit yeah. here and there, Look but it's, it's supposed to start snowing again at nine until like in the morning time. So I might have to take you guys to work tomorrow. Wait, who's working tomorrow? Um, both of them. Yeah. Both I know them. definitely Tuesday, because Tuesday it's supposed to snow like. All right, friends, so it has been about three hours. Look at that. And then the nice thing about this one is that um, the juice, the sabaw, I, we call it sabaw, the broth, it's, um, it's no water, just the chicken broth. So it's very flavorful. So I'm just gonna cut it in little pieces, like shred it. But I kind of want to thicken up the sauce a bit because I'm going to um, use it as a, like gravy for the, um, potatoes the mashed potatoes that's it friends super simple okay friends so i basically just cut it up into small pieces i have potatoes burning <laughs> potatoes boiling not burning potatoes boiling <laughs> oh boy all right i got the broth on that one and then what i have here is just a little bit of uh the sauce and then cornstarch i don't pour cornstarch straight through so that the sauce thickens and then I'm just going to put about a tablespoon or two. I don't measure, friends. That's one. That's one. One teaspoon, two. And that's enough. 
So that's gonna flavor up the, like I said, I'm gonna wing it because I don't, I didn't buy fresh mushroom. So I'm just gonna mix that together. It's gonna thicken the sauce and then we put it over mashed potatoes and that's it, okay? See how it's thickened? So it's gravy and meat all in one. I do easy, friends. I, I don't do hard, I do easy. You guys know me, okay? Look at that. Super good. It, it was already good to begin with, just the way Lola um, said to, uh, to do it, of just one can. And then all of just that simple seasoning. But now that I added that, it just adds it uh, perfect. Since I, I can't do Lola's recipe. Don't put too much of the cream of mushroom because then it'll it won't taste like pot rolls. Perfect, and then that's it. I basically just you know swirl it around. All right, friends. There's my bowl, and then see how it's nicely thickened. Danielle likes to have it over rice, but some of us like to have it. Look at that, friend. Ooh. That's Danny. Ooh. Super good, friends. Look at that. Super good. Danny. 